the Carl Gehring power play is going to be special again this year, though. I think that's a safe assumption. Clevin again combining to create the opportunity. Here is Tyler Clevin. Boom! Perhaps took a deflection on the way, but it's in the back of the net for six tonight. Clevin, the bomb of the shot. He's going to claim it the first of the year for the sophomore defenseman. While we talked about his shot, I don't think this is tipped. I think this is just ripped far down from the point. You're going to see Gaber up here. Oh, weird. He's going to pick up another assist on the night. I mean, that was just an absolute laser. But again, Gaber, he's making it. His playmaking ability is on full display here tonight. And that. It's been a busy day of UND Athletics across our network tomorrow. Is his glove is at the top of the crease. His stick is gone as well. Schmaltz has it. Cross ice. Back to Schmaltz. In the back of the net. Power play goal for Jake Schmaltz. His second of the night. I mean, a tough break for the freshman netminder who loses his catching glove. Helpless on the play, and it's 2 nothing. I gotta. I wish uh, Mike Schmidt was in the house tonight because I'd run down and ask him. I thought goaltending, if you lose your part of a protection piece, which your glove is, he lost it for like a good 20 seconds, and Schmaltz aware of that. Again, just one times that. And look at, look at Seibauer out there. He can change the game with one opportunity. In this guy, Tyler Clevin skating in. The big team man has shot. This, this you, could you get ugly. Yeah, watch here at the end now as Clevin and Capone, two of the big boys getting tied up as triple zeros come up on the scoreboard. This is just game one of this two-game series. The only time these two teams will play in their... Glam. Trying to lead DU back to the NCAA tournament. They missed out last year for the first time since 2007. As Judd Caulfield comes in, the follow-up is buried by Tyler Clevin. And it's 2-0 North Dakota. A goal Jake started and finishes here in the Peace Garden State. Yeah, Judd Caulfield, what a play. You're going to watch him win a quarter battle here, and he just does a good job head faking there. He's going to go five-hole. Magnus Corona does an awesome job of sealing that in on the five-hole. Right here, just a good puck battle that he wins. And then you got your defenseman following up. Here. As he'll circle up into the top of the right circle, the puck deflected, comes over to Clevin, sends a shot in, and then loose, and got deflected in. By and I'll be white, though, it was deflected down the front. Damage and Clevin collide. works it back behind the net. They'll try to bring it back out in front. Finding Clevin shot in. Score by Clevin as that off Pearson and into the net. A lot more action here in the first period as North Dakota out to a two to one lead now. Quickly answering back Miami's tying goal as they take the two to one lead at the 750 zone zone. Tries to make a move in the Neutral zone brings it up into the offensive end takes a big hit Bender Pushed the side with these by Clevin or is it just I don't know it hasn't been like services incorporated Here's Cates now down low tried the spectacular Clevin was in the way Take a hit and a play and boom. It's an active stick that Dislodges that right off a of Gaber stick Ford gets the face-off win here Bender though able to win the puck back for Minnesota Duluth Kaiser's shot is wide Roth back on the puck. Frisch in defense. Shot blocked that time by the stick of Clevin. North Dakota can cool things down with Gaber. And I think Gaber's just trying to get off. There he goes, off the ice for it. Gaber skating in, trying to wrap it around. No, Gleason. Just a little too far out of his reach. Clevin feeds it in one time. Great feed. Gaber the shot, but a beautiful save by Matt Vernon. Clevin to the backhand here for North Dakota. Goes to the backhand. Rolling down and it will get into the net. Zach Driscoll here. If UND can get possession and need to get this thing back to five on five as Clevin forces the turnover. Probably going to be what it is. I want to say it almost catches him on the shoulder. 
area, which maybe then trickles into the head area, but that's about it. Um, Dakota, what a first period here for North Dakota. Oh. Big hit by Tyler Clevin. My they had to kill a five-minute penalty. Boy, big hit. I think that was Clevin who His first year with the program. Tyler Clevin at the blue line. In the back of the nets! The shot on the ice from the point by the sophomore defenseman. Able to sneak one past Fanti. And it's 1-0 UND. We referenced the Minnesota Duluth ground game. Here comes the North Dakota ground game. They win a battle on the wall. They keep a puck in, goes back to Clevin. They get a screen set up in front. And this is just a seeing eye puck that Clevin puts towards the front. This isn't even a shot to score. This is a shot for a tip. How did Clevin stray the blue line? Wired left circle to Costantini, scrambling into the high slot. Deals to Clevin. Right circle score. Tyler Clevin. History made at Baxter Arena for the first time in NCHC history. He did first season with the program. Did not play last year as a member of Alaska. Fairbanks is Clevin. Hits the post and finds the back of the net. What a night for the no deck Sens. It's 2-1 North Dakota midway through the seconds. The no deck sends, Alex. They're going to love this one. The key train here with the big heavy bond. This is a clean shot. This is what I think the goaltender has to have. I think the stick right in front of him, Tommy Middleton. Watch this stick that Tommy Middleton gets his stick right here. That causes a little fits. I don't think that Vernon was able to catch that one clean off there. Not sure if it maybe ticks his stick a tad there, but that one from outside, it's a heavy shot. His college days, I'm sure he will, but he is just an absolute... Humble young man. Here's a chance for Ports going up top, missed the net. Clevin, Ottawa drop pick down the wall. Puck on edge, and it's going to be called a hand pass. Way, pretty much the same stride as Nick, and the same number, of course. Break the rink and only have to yeah. go 100 feet. Notre Dame oh. has a chance to shrink the rink and go 100 feet. Clevin there, unloading on Karashik right in front of us, and. He is a massive young man, and Adam Karashik responding, getting up right away. So Landon Slaggart, the tying goal, unassisted. Keep your eyes on the right side. Boom! That's like two back trucks running into each other. Chicago and Vegas. Heavy hit there as Adams went down again. Clevin. Winner goes on to the regional final here in the Albany region. It'll be a 6.30 Eastern time start. Oh, and Janicki slowed up. Clevin, that's about three Clevins that he's sent down to the ice there. Big time hit.